It's is it top sixteen? Make it out. I think it's yeah, eight winners, eight losers. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, I don't think I've seen Tom win this matchup in quite a while, but I haven't been paying too much attention to like the pixels recently. So you know, he might have got a win. He might have got now a win again. here or there. Yeah, and being being pools. Probably best of three kind of favors him because he's a player who's like really explosive and goes for a lot of like hard read stuff. So yeah. if, you, if you can like get those reads to seal out like two games, it's a lot easier than three games. We'll have to see. Both these players are quite familiar with each other, so let's get underway. We've got Thomas trying to start advantage, still sort of like testing the waters, perhaps. Yeah, you don't often see the uh, see the up tilt come out from uh, from Villager. But he, he was making it work there. All right. He's playing around this ledge for a, a little bit. Couple of All right. Nice maybe a start. Right yeah, my, maybe a little bit of a start for P9 here. And uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Uh, That's what I'm talking about with those like reads where you can just like kill someone super early. Yeah. Um, if P9's getting like too many of those, then you're in trouble. But that'll be... He is lot. holding into that like his life depends on it. <laughs> the tree kind of oh, messes up dead. sometimes. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, no, oh. Mind. oh, wow. Kind of crazy it didn't kill with like so much ink. With so much ink, yeah. Now... Now flows in some trouble. Yeah, gets he didn't have a jump there. Through the gets back on. Bowling ball. Now P9's the one who has to get to stage. Good drop down forward air from Flo to take the stock there. Yeah. That's just like that I've played this player a billion times recognition where you're like, oh, he's loitered, he has nowhere to go. I'm just going to like be where he is, you know. But, you know, still a good lead for P9. Oh, it definitely is. And especially with uh, Flo not finding a way off the ground at the moment. He's just getting all of his escape options covered. Finds a jab though, so... Yeah, Maybe potential sure for some really explosive damage here. One thing that's interesting about this is the flow's really reliant on the um, on the splat bomb ledge setups to ledge trap, but uh, you don't really get to do that against Villager. He's got puppet. He's got puppet. Oh wow! <laughs> Excuse Down me. Down tilt two frame. Yeah, crazy. Very cool. Normally you see him just go for the second bowling ball, but like that was just good awareness. Yeah. All right. And then SDI's down to uh, not take too much from the. That actually saved him. Like, yeah. avoiding the jab there saved him from dying the up smash. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. Flo, like, with the recognition to go for that up smash as well, because, like, as we saw before, the up throw out there is not going to kill, even at, like, 100. Oh, lock. Covers the whole platform with that up smash. This is looking huge for P9. Yeah. Inkling, not really a character that thrives at this kind of percent. Really needs to, like, get something at the ledge here. Down to it's still not going to be anything that really threatens P9. Ooh, that's big. Yeah. Nice. Oh my god, he went for it all. Still not going to kill though with the grab. Doesn't go for the pocket there. Yeah. Actually, that's probably a good idea because I reckon if he did, he would have just got the forward air right to the face. Yeah. Oh, gets past. It's still not enough. That's depressing. I was thinking maybe oh, he should down throw, go. but you know what? He gets it anyway. Now he needs a stock that does the exact opposite. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tom's tree disappeared there. It wasn't quite fast enough to uh, get there in time. But he's doing a really good job of keeping that. Oh, keeping the out. very close to like copying with the tree there. This is terrifying. Literal axe murderer. Right. Running around. We got some damage. We got some damage. Back air, just barely missing there. Alright. So, Flo still with an opportunity to bring this back though. I wonder if Roller Up Smash definitely kills here. Oh, so absolutely. P9 has to be very careful with his landings. Alright. He's just kind of back air. Double kill here, oh. but the parry Up Smash! Yeah. And Flo, with a bit of clutch in that yeah. game one. P9 shaking his head. He knows, like, he got a little bit lazy there, got a little bit desperate. Um, but yeah, good stuff to flow, just like getting aired and stuff. Like, okay, I gotta play the game. Oh, so well, I'm goodbye. I think I also have to play Zach. Um, so I might. Good luck as well. Yeah. <laughs> goodbye. Three, two, one, go! 
Uh, you know what? I think all the setup's taken, actually, so I'm just gonna chill here for a bit. Um... Oh, Jake, that was game one. Game one to flow, by the way. Yeah, sorry, I just sat down. No, you're alright, you're alright. Just let me know. And... P9 again, off to a bit of a lead here. Just kind of yeets the slap bomb there. I can finish on the jab from flow. It's honestly harder than you think to, uh, to land a clean hit on that. And that's first I'll go into P9. Honestly, he kind of got that tree and that axe out of nowhere, I felt like. Uh, very good awareness there. So yeah, despite, uh, honestly, despite that loss in the last game, he was looking really good for P9, and it seems like he hasn't really let that get to him. Just playing with, uh, playing with a lot of momentum here. Just, uh, gotta make sure he's not feeling himself a little bit too much, you know, because, uh, Sometimes when you're like, oh, I'm like destroying this guy, you don't respect him, and then you just, uh, you kind of get run over. Just pretty much what we saw in the last game. Good awareness around that upgrade, looks like. Ooh, nice. Just gets in his way, and that's it for Flo's second stock. Inkling, one of those characters who's definitely edge guardable, but they have so many mix ups that it's kind of tricky, unless they, like, don't have a jump. You know, P9, looking like an expert playing this matchup. Does get down air at a disadvantage, but you know what? It's fine. These Nairs, putting in a lot of work. I wish I could Nair like P9. And yeah, Inkling, not really known as like a comeback character. Flow does a pretty bloody good job at it, but this is quite a deficit, and as long as P9 doesn't get like too careless, you know, something like that will kill anyway. So yeah, alright, game three. And that was, that was really dominating actually. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how Flo adapts, because it felt like in that game he was just getting hit by everything, running in maybe a little bit too much. Hopefully he can't hear me, he's got his headphones on, so... I'm seeing a stage that's not PS2. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. P9 should probably ban Holocaust. I don't know what stages he's banning. But for some reason, whenever I let Flo go here, he just shits on me. So I no longer let him go to Hollow Bastion. I don't even know know what it is. Must be probably just the platform gives him so much opportunities to uh, to play, and you can't like jump in on him too easily either. Sometimes you just got to ban the stages that the other dude likes, you know. Ooh, that is it. Nice down smash. Um, yeah, as I sort of said before, like you, since you can't really do the uh, do the splat bomb. Let's trap, you really have to find other things, you know. And looks like Down Smash was the other thing in that spot. Yeah, this is looking like a clinic. So P9. Now it's like flow doesn't have to like approach as much. All of P9's like preemptive aerials and stuff are going to be a little bit less effective than last game. See if he gets the bowling ball here, not quite. Doesn't get the down tilt either, but that'll be it for sure. Just uh, so much stuff for Flo to avoid there, so much mental stack. And yeah, it's looking like a little bit difficult here, P9, but you know, he's getting something started. Risky roller for Flo. And that's actually huge damage. Oh my god. Covers the roll in. Or the air in. Flo gets out of the ledge trap. He did take like 90 from that though. 
P9 is Axeless. Um, he's planted the tree, but couldn't quite find the time to water it. And, oh my god, just covers the, uh, covers the jump getter. So, dude, that was just, like, all P9, literally. He's already at 35. Which is such a weird turnaround, because I felt like Flo had just so much momentum there. Like, so much ability to play around P9 stuff, but he just got hit by literally everything. P9 did not let up. Oh my god, that's it! <laughs> well, that was just two stocks of uh, P9 not letting Flo play the game, which is pretty incredible from a character that's not that strong like Villager. Damn. Okay, now I think I actually have to go play. 